I do want something else that's going to create a little bit of chaos in the middle of team. As to what that is, I mean, all the spirits are gone. Uh, Lesh is, I suppose, that frontlining uh, mid lane. They should just don't play it the same way. But, uh, well, is that... Uh, yeah, okay. So Xiao Bob Bob realizing that... Masteros is going to be in oh. trouble, actually. They've got the sentry already by the small camp, so Masteros was trying to farm up the area. But RSG had the vision seal set up and still in. We've got a TP in Jayu as well, but has the corrosive haze. So only playing with six armor at the moment is going to be the Dragon Knight. This is a huge kill to pick up. They'll even make sure MKS gets it as well. Seal's not going to get the D ward. <laughs> That'll cost him his life. It's just a question of who on Motivate is going to be able to pick this up and maybe he can get cheeky with the deny or just make him work for it. That's the main thing. Garch has only got two points in Breathe Fire, but this does leave Toy Vulnerable top. Oh, that's the Death Prophet. Apologies. So Boom Boo is going to end up going down for the trade of Seal, but nicely done. You know, we wasted time and Nabal goes in there connecting, but Radiant, they've got a really good lane ward if they will. Gotcha Boy did TP in smoke. I was going to reveal. How can he find a target though? Blinks straight on top of the Bane, Sealing. Lands a split earth as well. They're targeting down Masteros, and they will have plenty of damage to go through the Sand King, but still. With the Exo committed, the Death Prophet chunks away the Less Tracks life as well. But look at the commitment. It's RSG. Lord, right? It just they reveals everything. Yeah, they ping it out. They know. They know it's a... There we go. Oh, hey, Strun. That's going to oh, be nice. Gotcha, boy. An aggressive blink. Sharpshooter. Not a lot of damage at the moment. Stardust going to turn it back around. The double fiends. Where's the answer? It won't be there. Epi to follow. The damage actually matters. Okay. You don't deal with the fiend skip, but you yourself provide some team fight, which blows up Slaughter along with the Grim Shark. coming. Still in though. On the backstab, finds a double oh, split earth with the Pulse Nova just ripping Motivate apart. He'll turn to Masteros next. as a bow strike down to the south. Still in. It's going to be Garcha Boy actually this start. It will tank up the sharpshooter onto Sillin though. Not the greatest initiation from Motivate. Now it's going to be all eyes on Masteros who leaps into the middle. They've already evaporated away the two lives, but you still have to respect the double damage rune on MKS. He's standing his ground, beating back onto Toy. With the Age of Advantage still, MKS might be able to do it himself and even Sillin. Looks to buy back and rejoin the fight, but they have no way to stop the retreat as Motivate a huge victory. Buybacks need to come for a Roche fight. Jump in, Jiayu. Gonna pop the smoke straight on top of the Death Prophet. They'll take away the Exo. And now with the BKB from Garcha Boys, looking to hunt the Grimstroke as well. Who's disconnected from the team, but that's not the valuable target. It's throughout the mid lane. MKS and Sillan still pushing back Toy. A BKB, but there's no answers. The Fiend's grip control will prevent any way from him being able to reset. Smoke's gonna pop. Xiaoyu's gonna be jumped on straight away. Now they burst down the slaughter before the hopes of a BKB. And now they're on to Sillan next too. Less tracks able to turn it. Magic Munini pushing back. Motivate. Look at that damage, man. Massa just can't hide throughout the sand. Some of Persic plays sentry. They're even going to try and chase down Jal Bonbon. Extra pop from Boom Booey, but this has given time for MKS to connect with the Less Track. Motivate. I saw. I mean, it's really hard for them to. Oh, they found him. They did. Sentry's drop. And I don't think there's any cute plays Radiant's you can make this time, Masteros. Seal and Jayu are perfect with their chain control. I threw out the meld. He's going to pop out. Toy straight to the back line. Sealin's going to be the target. The chain control has to be Look perfect to prevent the BKB. But Sealin now with a blow. Oh my. Look at the magic. The damage is just way too much for their handle. They rip apart the tiny as well. Sealin back to full health. What is this item? Now they're even going to chase Tigger up to the high ground. They'll make it a wipe in the end as RSG. First series, they 2 0 army geniuses. And now they're starting this second series off exceptionally well. They got four buybacks, but not on the most important one, which is the. Try and get rid of the Sans. How do you jump though? You've got no vision in the back line. And it's like Sillon's just baiting, hoping that they jump him instead. Master oh, says the charge up. Three they're going to target the Leshrak again, but the instant Lincoln Sillon's fine. Now with the back line, Seal layers down to the Fiend.
Skip. They're going to be able to break this one off as the Helmet giving Toys some breathing room at the moment, but the back line is where the concern needs to be. Is Sillen chasing another target? Four down. They'll soon make it a fifth, and I think with this death, they'll end up calling the game as well. Sand King's got to buy back, but Sillen take a bow along with RSG. What a game one performance. Yeah, they didn't need the chubby boy's name tag. It's just the plays then, or the next big thing. Silent has another crazy game in RSG. Yeah, I'm really enjoying casting these guys. They're looking good. Yeah, I I can't say enough good things about how they were able to recover the uh, the early game from the TA. Exelor just showing again how good of a laning stage. So you're not going to get as much... Do you think there's going to be a snap tiny lane or a grim tiny lane? Okay, hey, Master. Um, he gives them good team fight, right? And it's a good. His matchup, Shell Bomb Bomb. Takes some damage early on, and Tigger actually able to land the cookie, so this should be our first blood. And now the banishment just lets another rally of abilities fly out and, and right. Expect it. Oof! Excellent. Oh, one more. Cross region. Gotcha. Hide in the trees. Tango cut through Sillen. No, he's got Tornado and Cold Snap. Oh. Gotcha, boy. Oh, that's huge. What's going on bottom? Shouted even a Brew. They also trade their life as well. So MKS gets a kill. Would have just fallen way too far behind because you don't have a similar sort of way as a lot of other mids to flash bottom lane. Banishment set up. Massa. Oh, they're going to miss on the split earth. Up to four poison stacks, though. Something Masros has to keep in the back of his mind with how aggressive he's playing. They're going to miss. On to the roof Q, and now they can even find Tigger as well. So this should be a double kill in the end for RSG. And you were seeing the praises of their laning stage in game one, and that's continuing to be you know, the pound to push back MKS, who's juking through the tree line, but Mastros is scouting this out. Again, though, the poison stacks up to five now, so Xiao Bonbon bon can keep them going. Off to the side, though, we we'll see the less strike oh. end up falling, and now with the Cinderbrew slow, Mastros is just able to survive on a slither of health. They're done. Do you reckon there should be a, a, a first tower gold bounty? Why does Massage? Yeah, potentially. First use of the prime was split, and this is a huge kill for Mass just to be able to catch back up a little bit. Yeah, bon Bon's gonna TP down, but the banishment really only delays the inevitable. See, so farm could blink now the reveal. They're gonna jump deep under the tower, but a cookie gives Mass a little bit of breathing room. Behind the T1 tower they go as MKS. Mine is coming. Even trying to backstab, but Toy, he goes in the middle. He's away from the team. A Toy, that's not the position you want to TP into the middle of the fight. He drops the combo. Still, at least he's going to get as much damage out as he can before he goes down. So it's a two for one trade. It's motivate. And what was looking like a horrible start. Zhao Yu lines up the double bars tracking out. Gotcha, boy. He's into the river. And that's now laying it down with blood as Mastros finds the ink spell. On to three. Wow. Wouldn't expect that at this time of the game. A primal split back up. They can... You saw that from the very start. That's how they wanted to play. Zhao Bonbon. Bon. An expedition deep inside motivates jungle. So it can cost him his life, and simultaneously Mastros is hunting some more heroes as well. He's going to cycle up Exilin. Xiaoyu with the counter initiation, but the solo epicenter just onto Boom Booey, so it's not enough to turn the fight back into RSG's favor. As Mastros is just outplaying them so heavily with this primal split. But now they'll turn their attention to Xiaoyu, a Boris track into the river, but Tigger on point, reading this like a book. You know, now with this smoke, if no one's going to farm the area. You see, now they're gonna like back off. I like Jia Bomb Bomb positioning behind the Wind Ranger, but Jia Yu, the jump just toy, too close. gonna try and target down the Shadow Demon. And it looks like he is a little bit too unclose, unfortunately. We got the Masteros ultimate as well, so this will be the life of the Stain King. Still getting greedy on this top side. I mean, they're gonna be able to tornado him up. Oh, silenced. Okay, uh, nice play. Oh. Looking to take away their triangle. This is exactly what you want to do whenever you've got a lead. Masteros. Of course, you can still get far from the to seal, but... Gotta be cautious. He needs to get the, the ultimate off fast enough. The burst might be enough, actually, to bring him down. The fear's gonna drag him away. They're targeting Tiny as well, as Toy just gets ripped apart, and even though Masteros is able to find the primal split, they'll lose the Tiny. Prioritizing a little bit more of just Masteros. lane pressure. Lately. 
Shall you will start. See how survivable the Brewmaster is truly going to be. They want to drop everything to get rid of the Brewmaster. He doesn't have a buyback to rejoin well. the fight. But the Sand King, is that the hero you really want to get rid of? He's got the hood, your scepter as well. Shows Yao. He's going to take through the BKP from Toy, but you haven't got it onto Xiao Bonbon. Bon. So the defensive banishment of, keeping him no alive. BKP. And now Exilin lands the shackles. The follow up from Xiao. You double bar strike. This time it's clipping onto Gacha Boy as well. Going to try and play around with the Ghost Walk. They're lacking detection. Zillin. Reposition man, Jia Yu. What are we yelling about? Uh, well, firstly, MKS is caught out by the triangle. So, first life's already taken out of factor. Master's going to try and lead him with the split. Now, needs to get onto Jia Bonbon. Bon. The BKB from MKS can enable him to reposition. But they're serrating, beelining towards the area. But now they're able to lock onto Toy Silly with a double damage rune. Oh, Toy just gets ripped apart. Now, Excellence looking for his next victim. Gale the way a tiny should this game so far. Who are they going to be able to catch out here? Jayu jumps in. They're going to be able to bring Jia Bonbon bon down. A key component, but once again, Toy with the focus fire out. Silen looking to solo deal with the tiny, but the BKB is soon to expire. And Exilin's doing so much damage throughout the fights. They completely avoid the primal split. Now they've even got the extra controller. Jayu and Exilin chasing deeper inside the enemy's territory. Up the high ground they go. And Gacha Boy will have no one nearby, no reinforcements, as they, they're on their own jobs. Master still trying to deal with MKS and, and Seal. He's already used both charges. He's got the refresher to pop. Maybe with the third use of the split, he can finally kill off MKS, but a BKB nope. into the TPR. My god, three. Right, they need a way to pop the Lincolns. There we go. Nicely played, and another easy pickoff. Garch is going to go down simultaneously at the front of the T2 tower bottom. Boom Bui is also another casualty for Motivated. They're not even done just yet. Xiaoyu setting up on to Mastros. The almighty Mastros, the Brumas they need in the team fights. A cookie out. Nice gobble <laughs> up as well. Back. Even uses the Mortimer kisses accidentally, but it doesn't matter. You keep Master alive. Toy's going to TP out, but... Oh, man. This the crew. Buy back on Garch. Respect the buybacks, respect how deep you go. Again, they're on to Mastros, and with MKS here, they're going to be able to bring down Mastros just yet. Pop the split out. It's now giving time for the respawns as well. Toy's going to find an angle, but the goddamn Exo stopping the blink dagger from Toy so he can't get in the middle. That's going to be MKS gotcha continuing forward, straight on top of Gacha Boy, a dieback for the Invoker, as Xiaoyu's making space in the back line as well, the burrow out toy, protected for a short duration, but there is no escape from the Onslaught, as RSG, they might have just secured themselves a second victory to start Spring Tour. They're going to toss in Boom Booey. All right, but I don't know what a Grimshot can really do damage-wise. That's a last-ditch attempt. Is motivate. I mean, you're just gonna watch everyone for along with your. Just so lacking in. Yeah, with the gem, they're gonna get back in onto the Grim Stroke. Just bought back. You can do Game it. Is over. Oh no! They let the Shouty Demon through, man. Yeah, we just chat on but so much. I don't care. He died 11 times. There was so many fights. The ones where they really look like they prevailed and convincingly was when Shouty Demon survived. He got banishment off. And everyone else was just able to, you know, Silwin played a great job at staying on the tinies. Is he dropping Wait, items? No, he's not. Okay. Dude, RSG, man, dropping what the hell? <laughs> what, dude, this, this is not C region? What are you saying? Absolutely not. But, uh, yeah, it, it seemed like the exact same story from game number one, right? Very nice lanes, particularly mid lane, coming through from Motivate Trust. <laughs>